Hey everyone, it's Christoph Chu. How are you? It's January, what day is it? January 24th. Can you believe we're already uh, the third week into January of 2018? Oh my gosh, it's hard to believe. So I want to talk about what's going on in the world of luxury real estate in Beverly Hills and the west side of, of Los Angeles. One of the most sought after uh, locations in the entire world. Uh, no question about that. <laughs> And um, what's happened is the market has increased in the last nine years by 393%. I'm not kidding you, it's 393%. Uh, that's incredible. We're gonna talk about that. We're gonna talk specifically about all the different luxury price ranges from 5 million, 10 million, 20 million, 40 million, and kind of what's going on in the LA marketplace for luxury buyers and sellers, and uh, possibly you know what's gonna happen in the next few years. I mean, nobody knows for sure. Uh, but my crystal ball is as good as anyone else's and I've been doing this now for 29 years I can't believe it 29 years selling real estate. Bonjour Chervanda. Got France in the house. I have New York in the house uh, Where's everyone checking in from? Uh, you guys having a great day? You have nice weather? I know in Fr Paris fund I hear it's been raining uh, a lot lately uh, We haven't had much rain here in LA and today. It's a beautiful clear blue skies it's a sunny day and it's about 74 degrees, so we're really lucky here in uh, Beverly Hills. So again, <clears throat> to talk about real estate marketplace, oh, we have uh, Turkey in the house. CB Volkan is here, wonderful, hello everybody. Houston here, yeah, hey, everyone check in, say hello, give me some likes and some happy faces. Jeff from uh, beautiful Laguna Beach, uh, one of our most key marketplaces here in the west coast of California, so that's pretty cool. San Diego's in the house, wow, we got people from Seattle, Wonderful. I love seeing this. People from all Orlando. Wow, we got everyone from around uh, the country and around the world. That's the wonderful thing about uh, live videos. I love that. So anyway, so 29 years now. My, I didn't even realize it, but a couple weeks ago, my LinkedIn told me I've had my 29th year anniversary in the real estate business. I can't even believe that. I started as a young kid at 18 years old, didn't know a thing about real estate. I thought, you drive a fancy car, you show pretty houses, and you make a lot of money. That's honestly what I thought about real estate. Boy, was I young and dumb, <laughs> I tell you. Anyone have that idea before uh, they got into real estate? Oh, you just show pretty houses and make a lot of money? Well, that was my idea. Boy, was I wrong about how it works. And um, I quickly learned through hard knocks that that's not how real estate works. It's really a lot of hard work, time, and effort. Uh, the rewards can be great but there's a lot of ups and downs in the world of real estate. Jerry Oliver from up north, Robert Bernard. Wow, we got a big crowd here today. Frankfurt, Germany, wonderful, I love that. So, so anyway, so 29 years in the business and I study my market all the time. The top agents are the ones that study the market and know the market down cold. When people mention an address or a house, I usually know what it is, where it is, and, and kind of what it's all about. So that's really important. And, um, in, in alignment with that, and part of how I have all this information and data, our company, Coldwell Banker, here in the west side of, of Los Angeles, we have two offices here and right in Beverly Hills, one a block from each other. My office is the north office, and we have uh, the south office just down the street, uh, two of the most powerful offices uh, in the world for Coldwell Banker. And I think, I haven't heard the numbers yet, but um, I think we're number one, again, in the world for Coldwell Banker, I think the 22nd year in a row. And again, I'm in the top 10 of the offices here. I'm excited about that. I'm waiting to be number one, guys. So all of you that are in real estate, and or even if you're not in real estate, send me some referrals. I'd love to take care of them. That'll help me be number one. And I'd love to reciprocate back and send you referrals as well. And one thing I wanted to mention, you know, many of you know that follow me. I go to a lot of conferences and events, and I keep forgetting to share this. When I, For example, last week I was at the Tom Ferry um, Inner Circle Conference in Palm Desert for several days with 1,800 uh, really top producing, serious, high quality agents from the luxury segment to the regular segment from all around the world, from as far as New Zealand, England, Italy, South America, I mean literally all over the world. And aside from you know the Tom Ferry Conferences, the Inman Conferences, the Inman Luxury Connects, the Coba Banker Conferences, the events I speak at, of which I'll be in Denver next month on the 23rd and 24th, speaking at the first ever ARIA Denver Luxury Conference. I'm very excited. I'm the uh, keynote speaker for that particular event. So if you're in the Denver area, I'm going to be there on the 23rd or 24th of February. I'd love to see you. And maybe we'll get some nice snow. Anyways, so uh, our company, we have uh, two meetings every month. Well, we have our office meeting every week in my office. We have about 165 agents where we share and talk about our new listings, price changes, what's going on in the market, new technologies, just anything that's pertinent to our career. 
And secondly, we have a small group, which is about 25 people. We meet every, uh, the, I think it's the last Third, last Wednesday of every month here in Beverly Hills for a breakfast meeting. It's about a two-hour meeting. We sit down, we have breakfast, and we have all the top luxury experts from the Beverly Hills, Bel Air, Hollywood Hills, you know, the kind of west side areas. And we sit and we talk about the pocket listings. We talk about the homes that have sold in the last 30 days, who bought them, because who's buying them is really important. So what's sold, who's buying them, what's, what pocket listings are there, what's sold off market. It's really a lot of very valuable information. And I share some of that with you. I can't share all of it because some of it is confidential, but that's uh, one of the meetings we have. And then secondly, we have another global luxury meeting once a month, uh, usually here around the West Side area, where we have all of the top luxury brokers from all of Cobalt Banker in the Los Angeles marketplace, from Palm Desert to um, Ventura, Santa Barbara, down to Newport Beach are invited to come. And we, can, we have typically 150 to 300 agents from that entire region, where we all share and talk about Again, new listings, what's going on in the marketplace, etc. So, that's kind of a little background into where I get my data and how I get it. And um, so that you know that this is live to the minute data. I just got it this morning. So this is fresh. Nobody has heard it yet because I'm the first one to do a live video about it. <laughs> hey, Andy. Carolyn, how are you? I was just talking about how you came all the way from Rome for the Tom Ferry Conference. So, oh, so talking about networking, so because I've had these relationships for many years and I go to so many conferences with the top agents from around the world, whether it's the luxury segment or just top producers or just really smart uh, agents who are looking to learn, I have built a network of thousands of the top brokers all around the world. So, for example, Carolyn, who's on the video here, if I have buyers or friends that want to buy an apartment in Rome or rent a place in Rome or buy a house in Rome, uh, Carolyn is my go-to girl in Rome. If I have uh, friends that want to buy in Paris, uh, Laurent and Vanda, my friends who own Cobalt Banker France in Monaco, I call them and we get them the referral in Paris. London, I have friends at Knight, Fra Knight Frank who can help me. I have friends in China and Hong Kong, so all over the world. Um, so anytime you have any friends or yourself you're thinking of buying, renting, leasing, exploring real estate opportunities in different countries, whether it's Dubai to China to Mexico, you name it, I've got you covered. And so we'll be happy to make sure you're taken care of. And not only are you going to be taken care of, but when I send a direct referral to an agent I know, they're going to take even more care of you than if you just went directly on your own because they have me to answer to, right? <laughs> they don't want to get me upset that my clients aren't happy when I refer them. So anyways, just keep in mind, if anyone you know is looking to buy or sell or lease anywhere in the world, we're connect I'm connected and we can certainly help make that happen for you. Anyways, hello everybody. I see Jeffrey Singer there. Candy Aleman is here. Um, so just give me some likes and some hellos. If you actually give me some likes and hellos if you've ever thought about buying properties outside of your marketplace. It'd be interesting to see how many people like to invest outside of their marketplace. Because LA, and that's one of the things we'll talk about, is one of the uh, largest international markets here in the United States. So, anyways, let's get to the data and the details. So when I open up this video in the headline, it said 393% increase in the luxury marketplace. So what that basically means is, I've been tracking this now for the last nine years, so since 2008. So in 2008, uh, in the, and this is for $10 million plus sales, which is really kind of the beginning of the ultra luxury market in Los Angeles. As you know, we have homes that sell for over 100 million. We have homes listed right now for, our company has a home listed for 350 million. Uh, there's one listed for $500 million. So there are homes that actually sell for over $100 million. Uh, and luckily I've seen all of them, So, um, but that's just the reality. So this little update to start off with is for the $10 million plus market. And here's what's going on. So when I first started tracking this in 2008, at that time, so 2008, we were just getting out of that down cycle of that uh, market. I think it was 2008. Yeah, I think. I forget when the cycles were. But in 2008, there were 47 sales on the west side of L.A. over $10 million. So um, 47 versus today in 27, which we're 2018. But in 2017, because we now have all the numbers, there were 185 sales over $10 million. So that's a, almost a 400% increase. 400% increase in the number of homes over $10 million that have sold in the last nine years in the LA marketplace. Why is that? Well, first of all, there's a lot more billionaires today than there ever were in the history of the planet, so that's number one. A lot of those billionaires and very, very, very wealthy people uh, are coming to LA and like to have vacation homes here. 
and a lot of money in the last 8, 10 years has been made from the internet. New startups and companies and app companies, so there's a lot of very young people, as a matter of fact, that are buying, people that are literally in their early 20s and early 30s buying these 20, 30, 45, 50 million dollar homes. It's a very unusual world we're living in today, that's certainly for sure. So anyways, so from 2008 there were 47 sales over 10 million, and 2017 there were 185. So that's again a 393% increase over a nine year period in the number of sales. Now, how did it go 2017 versus 2016? Well, 2017, again, we had 185 sales, over 10 million. And in 20, uh, seven, 2016, we had 160. So it's a 15% increase year over year. But we figure 15, 20, 100% increase year over year, that's why it's almost four times more sales today, over 10 million, than there were eight years ago. So I thought it was a very interesting statistic. And one of the biggest issues right now is uh, low inventory. Um, if, you're having, if you're a real estate agent and you're watching this and you have a low inventory in your market, give me some likes and some love signs because that's been a big issue here. I have a listing right now that um, is in an area where you know every house that's come in the market, there's very few of them, get multiple offers and they sell right away because there's just no inventory. So I think low inventory is definitely one of the reasons why uh, we're seeing uh, such a strong marketplace overall. I, I know right now I've got a number of buyers in the 20 to 100 million dollar range that have been out to LA several times in the last six, eight months and there's just not a lot of houses out there. So anyways, that's part of the problem. Buyers have money, they want to buy here, uh, vacation homes and regular homes and there's just not a lot for them to find and to see. So that's always a little bit of a challenge. Okay, so let's talk about the luxury market in segments of 5 million, 10 million, 20 million, 30 million, 40 million. Okay. So, this is now my comparison of what happened in 2017 versus the same for 2016. And actually not the same month because now this is a, a recap of the year. So, what happened all of 2017 versus what has happened in all of 2016. So, so $5 million is kind of the start of our basic luxury market. You know, the homes from 2 to $5 million aren't particularly luxury. I mean, they're lovely homes, beautiful homes, but luxury is over $5 million in our marketplace. So. In uh, 2017, there were 602 homes that sold over $5 million in the west side of Los Angeles versus 514 in 2016. So that was a 17% increase in the number of sales of homes over $5 million. Now, in the $10 million plus range, there were 185 sales in all of 20, 2017 versus 160 in all of 2016. So that's a 15% increase. So the 5 million, 10 million, healthy increase, you know, 15 to close to 20%, good, strong, healthy increase. Now where it starts to change is in what we call the ultra high-end market. $20 million plus. So last year was really, really strong in that marketplace. There were 52 sales in LA that closed over 20 million in 2017 versus 33 in all of 2016. So it's a 50%, 57% increase. So close to double the amount of sales uh, for $20 million plus homes. Now, $30 million, it gets even better. Uh, for $30 million homes, there were 23 sold in all of 2017 in LA versus 14 in all of 2016. So it's a 20, oh, sorry, 64% increase in the homes over 20 million. Now where it really, really got um, exciting, which is always exciting, is in the $40 million plus range. Yeah, $40 million. Miss there's homes for $40 million. I know some people that I know live around the country can buy an entire town for $40 million, but hey, this is LA. I have a listing that's uh, $58 million here in Beverly Hill, or $58 million 888, lucky Chinese eights, and uh, that's 1.68 acres, so you could put Quite a few houses on that property. <laughs> hey, Anthony, how are things in New Jersey? Hey, Cliff, Cliff Baldridge works in my building. Hey, Cliff, you're just a couple doors down. Anyways, uh, oh yeah, so 40 million plus, we had 10 sales in 2017 versus four in 2016. So it's a 250% increase year over year. So basically, strong in all markets from basically 15% to 250% uh, increase in the number of units sold in all of these various price ranges. Yep, Robert, the lucky triple eights. If you believe in lucky triple eights, give me some likes and hearts. <laughs> Even if you don't, the Chinese buyers do, and the address of the house is 808, and it's called Maison 808, and the price is 58 million, 888, right? Lots of eights. <laughs> it's a good thing. Uh, Americans like that too. So anyways, 
Now, of the 52 sales over 10 million, oh, no, sorry, over 20 million, God, I got a lot of information here, um, so hopefully I'm not boring you with all the details. So, of the 52 homes that sold last year, over 20 million, where are these homes being sold? I mean, what are the areas that these properties are selling? So, of the 52, 10 were sold in the city of Beverly Hills. Uh, 13 were in Malibu. Malibu had a really, really, really strong market last year. There were, I believe, um, four or five properties that sold in Malibu over 50 million uh, last year. So Malibu is one of the strongest areas for luxury sales in 2017. Uh, so I thought that was kind of interesting, whereas a couple years ago, Malibu was very slow. So we have a lot of little mini micro markets in LA, and Malibu just happened to be one of those really, really strong ones um, uh, in 2017. So 10 sold in Beverly Hills, over 20 million, 13 in Malibu, uh, seven, um, eight in Bel Air, the highest price being the one that Jay-Z and Beyonce purchased on Quest Away, which was on 2.2 acres, a Paul McLean design, and Paul McLean is one of the most wonderful new modern architects of today's world, and that sold for 88 million, interesting, another 88. <laughs> and Jay-Z and Beyonce, what do they care about double eights? But they bought it for 88 million, and they got a $53 million mortgage. That's the biggest residential mortgage I've ever heard of. Have you ever heard of a, a $58 million mortgage? No? <laughs> Post the largest mortgage you've ever seen in your real estate career if you're in real estate. Just curious. I'd love to hear about what the numbers are all around the world. Okay. So 10 in Beverly Hills, 13 in Malibu, 8 in Bel Air, 7 in Beverly Hills Post Office. Now, again, Beverly Hills Post Office is not technically the city of Beverly Hills, but you have the Beverly Hills, California, 90210 address. But your fire, police, and all your services are from the city of LA. That's why it's called Beverly Hills Post Office. But there were seven sales over 20 million in that area. So I think that's probably the biggest number of sales in that price range in that area that I can remember in my last 29 years. Uh, three sales in the Holmby Hills area. Um, I sold some there. Mine just missed the $20 million mark, so I'm not on that list of the three for this year, but it's okay, I'm working on others. <laughs> I have a pocket listing in Holmby Hills for $24 million, so if you're looking for something that's off market, it'll probably go on the market in a few months. It's an incredible property, $24 million in a prime, prime street in Holmby Hills. You know, Tom Ford, he just bought one for $42 million, and according to the permits, he's spending $42 million to remodel. So yeah, so Tom Ford bought this house on North Delfern in Holmby Hills, on the corner of, backs up on the Sunset Boulevard, and um, one point five, no, sorry, maybe it was two acres, I forget exactly now. Uh, older home, he spent $42 million to purchase it, and according to the re reading I'm doing and the permits, he's spending about $42 million to remodel that home. So that tells you the strength and the desire for these luxury marketplaces. You buy a house for $40 million, you put $42 million into it, it's probably then going to be worth well over $100 million. So um, yeah, even at that category, people have the confidence, they want to buy, at $42 million for a fixer that's been gutted. He's totally redid all the land. I mean, he basically gutted the house, kept the shell, tore out every bit of landscaping, and is just redoing his own dream home, which is amazing. Can't wait to see while that's done. So um, anyway, so that's interesting. So three in Homeby Hills. Four in the Sunset Strip. Uh, the last one that just closed in December was a beautiful house on, um, ten was it Tanager? Yeah, I think so, for $32 million. Uh, beautiful modern house. And modern houses are very, very popular in the Sunset Strip area. Two sold in Pacific Palisades, over 20 million. Two in Santa Monica, one sold for 41 million, I believe, if I might remember correctly. Uh, one in Los Feliz, that was the Angelina Jolie house that she bought for, I think, 24 million. Uh, the highest price ever in the history of Los Angeles. Uh, one sale in Westwood, over 20 million. It was one of the penthouses at the Century, which is LA's premier luxury condo building, and that sold for, I think, 23 or 24 million. Uh, I've had units in the Century. I just uh, completed a deal at the Century for a ninth floor unit. Incredible, incredible condo building. Full service luxury in the heart of Century City. Beautiful building. Uh, that's where Candy Spelling has her very famous two story penthouse that she paid 40 some million for back eight or nine years ago. So again, and then one in Brentwood. So that's kind of where the piles are seen. So the most is in Beverly, uh, most of the sales were in Malibu this year, uh, then Beverly Hills. Beverly Hills Post Office, uh, Sunset Strip, and then on down the road. Okay, who is buying these properties? When I say who, we can't give you names, uh, that's the confidential part, but in terms of culturally who is buying, so 52 sales over 20 million, most of them are American buyers. Contrary to popular belief, we do have a tremendous amount of foreign buyers, 
but most were American buyers. However, aside from the American buyers, Chinese, Indonesian, Canadian, British, uh, Scot Scottish, South African, and French. Those are the international buyers that have bought last year over 20 million. So of those international buyers, again, for probably the fifth, sixth year in a row, the Chinese buyer pool have been between 28 to 40 percent of the foreign buyers. So the Chinese are still buying very heavily in the west side areas. Uh, several of my deals last year were to Chinese buyers from mainland as well as from Hong Kong. A lot of Hong Kong buyers buying in Los Angeles continuously. Uh, one came from Indonesia, one came from Canada, four came from the UK last year. The years before they were not as big, but so as many Chinese buyers this year in, 20, in 2017 as there were UK buyers. That's probably probably the Brit, Brit, Brit exit, Brit, Brexit, I forget how we call it. Uh, I think a lot of the British uh, buyers were coming to invest their money here in Los Angeles. Again, one from Scotland, two from South Africa. I've never seen before buyers from South Africa. Uh, we've had a lot of Australian buyers, but not so many from South Africa. And one French buyer that bought over 20 million. And then, other than that, in terms of these 52 listings that sold, surprisingly, 67% of them sold off market over 20 million. Uh, again, I've always advised my clients never to sell off market. You're putting money on the table, leaving money on the table, and you're not going to get the full exposure, which the more exposure, the better the price. However, some clients want to be private. But it's just not the best way to sell a home is going uh, with a private sale. Although there have been a high number of those in the upper end markets. So, so again, it's only the third week of December of January. God, my months are getting mixed up, and I'm not yet quite sure um, uh, where the trends are going. We don't have the the numbers yet. But uh, this about this time next month. You know, stay tuned every month about the right. I would say the third Wednesday of the month or the next day is when I'll be doing my live videos talking about our luxury marketplace. Hi, Ahmed. Hi, Yuta. How are you? Germany's in the house. Dubai's in the house. France. Wow, I just love this. When I started in real estate, we barely had computers. We had thermal fax machines. And um, anyways, we didn't have iPhones or PD any of that stuff. <laughs> Can you imagine the iPhone only came out 10 years ago? That's amazing how the world has changed. And even last night, I was looking at some old uh, conference notes from six years ago. And stuff we were learning six years ago is totally, totally outdated and just gone. QR codes. Remember QR codes? Remember how QR codes were such a big thing? If you remember QR codes and we're doing that for a little while, I checked it out. I tried it. I didn't think it was going to last and I was right in that case. Nobody really uses QR codes anymore. The whole world has just changed. I mean, a little bit here and there, but just not that much. Um, thank you, Utah. I appreciate that. Hey, William, I'm glad you like all the stats. And when we're done with this video, I'll actually post all the detailed stats uh, this video will go to YouTube and we'll post all the detailed stats because I do speak kind of quickly. So that way on the um, uh, stat thing you can take a look and see exactly what the details are for those different things. So, recap. Market is extremely strong in Los Angeles. Again, 393% growth in the number of sales over 10 million in the last nine years. I just, I don't even know what that comes out to. What does that come out to? Let's just say 400% divided by nine. That's a... 44% annual growth in the number of sales over 10 million. Wow, it's amazing. And there's a lot of houses in construction right now uh, in that upper end, because I know <clears throat> I have one of my buyers, we've looked at uh, probably at nine different properties ranging from uh, 50 million to 180 million that are all in various phases of construction uh, in various parts of the west side of LA that are um, slated to be completed between March, this summer, next summer, so there's still a lot of new construction going on, a lot of buyers, and you have a lot of foreign buyers. Many of you know me, I have a tremendous amount of foreign buyers from all over the world. Luckily, I speak a number of languages. I've uh, lived in Asia, I've lived in Europe, so I have a lot of connections to U.S., being raised in the U.S., but Europe and Asia. So I have a lot of connections, and then through my networking and brokers for many, many, many years, I get a lot of referrals from international buyers, but um, it's interesting, most international buyers, there's hardly a person I've ever met in the world that has money that doesn't come to LA at some point in time to visit. And those that have a lot of money that have uh, homes around the world, because a lot of people at a certain level of wealth do have a number of homes all around the world. Karen Smith, hey, how are you? I haven't seen you in a while. Oh, microfiche, Carl. Oh gosh, I remember microfiche. And back in the day we had MLS books that were like phone books, like this thick. Do you remember, do you guys have MLS books that were thick like this? Anyways, glad those days are over. We save a lot of trees that way. So anyways, um, what was I talking about? Oh, I forgot. 
Oh, well, if someone remembers what I was talking about, do a little comment there and I can uh, recap what I was saying. <laughs> What's your take on the luxury market in India? You know, Amy, I don't know a lot about the Indian marketplace, uh, but one of my friends owns Coldwell Banker India, um, and he has quite a, I think a couple hundred offices uh, throughout all of India, from Delhi, uh, just all over the place. So I really don't know a lot about the luxury market in India. I do see him a couple times a year when we talk about it, um, but it's a strong market. So anyways, um, yeah, I don't know much about the India market, I'm sorry to say. I have not actually you know, represent any buyers in India. Yes, Rick, a lot of international buyers have internet. Oh, thank you for reminding me what I was talking about. So buyers come here for vacation. A lot, a lot of buyers come here at Christmas time, Easter time, and the summertime. Those are the three main points. They come here and they, we've got beautiful weather and they enjoy the beaches and they go to the desert and they play golf and they go skiing locally. Uh, they come here as a hub, they go to Vegas, they go to Mammoth, um, they go to San Diego to Legoland and to uh, it's not called Lang's Country Safari anymore, but that Animal Reserve and uh, Disneyland here in Anaheim. So we have so many wonderful things around us. They all come here for fun in the sun and, and the restaurants and the great shopping on Rodeo Drive. Everybody loves to come here. Then they kind of get hooked and they come back again and again and again and stay in hotels. And then sometimes after a couple of trips or maybe one trip, they say, hey, we want to buy a place. Sometimes you start off with a condo. Sometimes you start off with a house. Sometimes a house in a gated community, just depends. So the luxury international buyers, everybody loves to come to L.A. And even in real estate, I hardly can think of a real estate friend that hasn't come visit me here in L.A. at some point. So people come to visit. They love what they see. They love the lifestyle because it is a great lifestyle. And they end up buying a vacation house here. And they end up living here sometimes, full time. <laughs> so that's kind of why the international buyers um, love coming here. And I love working with them. You know, it takes a special ability to understand foreign buyers in their different cultures because a Hong Kong buyer versus a mainland Chinese buyer versus a Taiwanese or a Singaporean versus a buyer from Paris or a buyer from the south of France or a British buyer or a buyer from Azerbaijan or Armenia or South America, they're all very different. And luckily I've had many, many, many years of international friendships with real estate friends and personal friends and I love exploring new cultures and traveling and learning about them and it's important to understand those little innuendos and how people like to live because if you know how people like to live, you can help them find what they want here in LA. So um, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed my video. I encourage you, I'll put the link here, if you like my videos, follow me on YouTube. I have a great YouTube channel, we have about almost 2,000 videos on that channel. Uh, I think just over 16,000 subscribers. So if you subscribe to my YouTube channel, which I'll post a link of, you'll get all my videos as I post them. You get a little email and I'll send you my videos. Um, also, if you want to just kind of know what's going on in the LA marketplace, you can go to my website, ChristophChu.com, easy to find. And on there we have every listing in the marketplace, lots more videos, uh, different uh, links to all the different micro markets. Like if you want to know about Hancock Park or Beverly Hills Post Office or Beverly Park or or um, Century City, just click on one of the communities buttons and it tells you about those communities. It gives you a little description about it, kind of the map of the borders. There's little embedded maps there that show the active listings in the neighborhoods. So um, it's, just, it's a good way to start the exploration. So when buyers contact me and they want to start feeling things out, I say, hey, go to my YouTube channel, type in the area you want. You'll find lots of videos on those areas. Hey, Terry, how are you? It was great seeing you in Palm Desert last week. Katie in England, welcome. So go to my website, you can get all the details on the marketplace and areas and start exploring. Go to my YouTube channel, look at more videos of the marketplace and areas and just the lifestyle that is Beverly Hills. So anyways, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video today. Um, great, I love friends in Mumbai. I haven't been to India yet. We had two trips booked to India, Amy, in the last 12 years and both times we had to cancel at the last minute, unfortunately. But I will be coming to India soon. They're planning to do some luxury conferences. And um, I don't know if you're a real estate agent, but if you are, you may want to talk to Coal Banker India and see about joining the company there. It's an amazing company, and we have a lot of connections worldwide through Coal Banker US and around the world. So yes, I hope this year my goal is to I'm going to be speaking, I've got several speaking engagements, but I hope to be in Dubai again to speak, uh, Denver's confirmed, India's a possibility, and there's another one in Europe. So I may be hopping around the world talking about luxury real estate and how to do it. But again, if you guys, any of you are in Denver, I think it's February 
3rd, I believe, I'll be in Denver at the Marriott Cherry Creek uh, at the first ever uh, ARIA, which is the Asian American Real Estate Association Denver Global Luxury Conference. So anyways, thanks for watching everyone. I always appreciate your help. Give me some likes and some love. If you like this video, you think it's interesting, please share it with your friends. I would really appreciate that. Um, and if you have any thoughts or questions you have about real estate or about LA, Beverly Hills, being an agent, whatever, ask me the questions. I love to answer questions and be engaged with my audience. So uh, I appreciate you all taking the time to watch me. And I'll look forward to seeing you again real soon from beautiful Beverly Hills, California. Take care.